Hey everybody, Coach Allison back with your week 14 Defy Aging workout to review with you. This week you're gonna all be in your own space, counting your own reps, and there is 25 minutes to do this routine. Uh, so your coach will just set one timer for 25 minutes and you're gonna be going at your own pace. Complete as many rounds as possible in this 25 minutes. Uh, the clincher with this routine is that each exercise has a designated amount of reps. So those will all be listed on the board. So you might have to keep referring to the board to remind yourself how many reps for each exercise. Some of the exercises have a lower rep count and some have a higher rep count. So we definitely recommend for the lower rep count exercises, we want you to challenge yourselves and pick a heavier weight than you might normally pick. Reason being, when you do a lower rep count, that is your opportunity to, ch to finally be able to go to a heavier weight and really challenge your muscles um, because you're doing fewer reps, uh, meaning so some of our exercises are only five reps. Again, that's your opportunity to pick maybe the next weight up than you normally would pick. For example, uh, excuse me, um, it, compared to when we might be doing 40 seconds of that exercise. So again, lower rep counts, pick a heavier weight. Um, but then some of our exercises are maybe 10 and 12 reps. Then you would pick a more moderate weight for those. All right, let's go through our exercises. Our first exercise, kettlebell deadlift. This is one of the low rep counts. Actually, they kind of go in order. So the first few exercises are all lower rep counts. This is, excuse me, this is one where you'll want to go a heavier, um, a heavier weight than you would maybe go, it, than we would if you were doing maybe 40 seconds. So doing 15 reps. So pick something heavy, kettlebell deadlift. So soft bend in your knees, pop your hips back. We're keeping those shoulders down so the shoulders aren't shrugging. The kettlebell should end right between the feet. So if your kettlebell is ending way out here in front of your feet, you know your shoulders are probably shrugged up too high. So watch what happens when I push my shoulders down. See how the kettlebell then went between my feet where we want it. All right, so we shift those hips back, keeping the back flat. Notice why I have that soft bend in my knees. So I'm not doing a squat, of course, but I'm not locking the knees out straight either. All right, so again, challenge yourself with a nice heavy weight. You should feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings, which is the back of your legs. And we're only going for that five reps. Next exercise is push-ups. This is another one that it's low rep count. We're only going for five as well. I've just given up on push-ups altogether with my chronic shoulder injury, so I can't do anything with a push. Um, so your, your coach will demonstrate push-ups. Many of you have been with us long enough. So we can do a, a toe push-up, a knee push-up, or we can do a push-up on an incline, so a bench, or we can do it on a wall, which I can do on a wall. Doesn't hurt my shoulder too much. So, oh my goodness. So like this, okay, of course, right? Um, so all sorts of versions to do your push-ups. Now, since we are doing the low rep count, I'm going to challenge you to take this opportunity to do the next progression up from what you maybe normally do when we're doing, again, maybe a 40 second set, something where we do more reps. So if you're typically doing um, an incline version, maybe this is your opportunity to go to the floor and try a knee push up because that's the next challenging progression. Or if you're typically on the floor doing knees, this might be your opportunity to try a couple up on the toes just to give it a try. So five reps only, this is your opportunity to try that next progression. Alternating overhead press. This one will also be five reps each side. So yes, that equals 10 total, right? But it's only five each side. So another one that's a low rep count each side. So once again, if we were doing 40 seconds of this, uh, we would probably pick something more moderate, but this is your opportunity to challenge yourself and go to that next weight up. So one, one, two, palms forward, two, and so on. That is our alternating overhead press. Challenge yourself with that weight. Next exercise is a two-point row. You can choose kettlebell or dumbbell. I'm gonna let you choose what you prefer. They're both good, they're both fine. This is eight reps each side. So it's kind of a moderate, it's a lower rep count, but it's kind of moderate. So, but keep in mind, a back row is a very strong exercise. You're using your back, you're using a, a kind of tr a lower trap, you're using your lat, you're using middle, like upper, middle, and lower back. You're using some shoulder, you're using some arm. You're using a lot of strong stuff. So it's a strong exercise. So 
challenge yourself with the weight. So I'm gonna use a kettlebell, but again, you can use a dumbbell if you prefer. So it's a two point row. So we're, we don't have a, anything here that we're stabilizing uh, like, a, like, a, uh, like a bench. I like to rest my hand on my leg, okay? If you wanna add more core work here, more stability, you can have this hand just free on your hip here or just kind of out and not use any stabilizing. I like to kind of just rest it here. All right, back is nice and flat. So we're not like hunched down. See how I'm kind of hunching. Get this back leg way back and pull it up and back towards that hip. So I'm keeping the shoulder down away from my ear. I'm not shrugging it up like this. Kind of pull like you're pulling out a lawnmower cord, kind of jerking that cord like, right? Of course, I don't know. Doesn't everyone have a riding lawnmower these days? I don't know. I live in an apartment, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, pulling up and back. Eight reps each side. Exhale on the way up. Again, so this isn't five, it's eight, um, but it's still a relatively lower rep count. So, and it's a very strong area of the body. So let's pick a challenging weight. Single leg glute bridge. So you're on your back with knees bent. Okay, and I'm gonna keep one leg on the floor. Other leg is just up in the air somewhere doing nothing. And I'm gonna use that leg on the floor to lift my hips as high as I can. So that's gonna be eight each side. All right, so for anyone staying off the floor, um, typically this would be a, a deadlift, but we, for, a, for an alternative, but we already had deadlifts in our routine. So for an alternative, I'm gonna have you do a split squat instead. So you can be near something to hold on to for balance if you'd like. You're gonna split your stance, roll up onto that, that back toe, okay? So you can't keep that heel force down, it's just not gonna work and we bend both knees as low as you're comfortable going. Make sure you're not folding forward. So keep your back up tall, chest tall. Bend both knees. So you're gonna do eight on one side like that. Switch your stance, of course. Eight on the other side. So very different mo movements, of course, but it's gonna target that glute and hamstring. Um, so that's the alternative for the glute bridge. Next up is the bottoms up goblet squat. So for this, you actually do need a kettlebell. So we're going to, I should back up a little. I'm gonna bend down, pick it up like this and flip that bottom up. That's the bottoms up part. Hold it at the chest, but not against the chest. So there should be a little, little bit of space there. Normal squat, so feet are hip width apart, toes slightly out, not excessively so. And sink those hips down and back into a normal squat. Make sure the kettlebell stays in the same place the whole time. So don't let the kettlebell kind of sink down and fall around, just keep it right there in front of the heart with that bottom up. Um, the rep count for this one is 10. Last exercise is gonna be our biggest cardio one, mountain climbers. This is 20, but it's 20 each leg, okay? So the count goes, the count goes really fast, so it is a little bit tricky to count these. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do it too. You can, uh, there's three ways to do it and then you can do it on the floor or on an incline. So you can run them, you can hop them or you can toe tap them. And let me review what all those look like. So running them is gonna look like this, fast. Hopping them is gonna look like this. Toe tapping them is gonna look like this. And of course you can do all of those options. Oh, oops, that moved up on an incline like this. You can take it to a higher incline, so something up even higher. And the way you count them is one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and so on. So you got all those options? Yeah, and that one. Um, it does still go pretty quick, so you'll be done with those in no time. But remember, all three of those options, and then on the floor or on an incline. All right, everybody, our team builder this week is going to be a quarter mile on either a treadmill or an elliptical. So not a bike, not a rower, um, just the elliptical or the uh, treadmill because those are pretty comparable as how long a quarter mile takes. So you can speed walk it, you can jog or run it. The elliptical, you can use the ones with the arms or the ones with the stationary, whatever you'd like to do, um, but it's gonna be a quarter mile on one of those two pieces of cardio equipment. All right, that wraps up week 14. I hope you enjoy it.